Seattle Seahawks back at home this week, looking their feathers after a rough trip to Baltimore. They welcome the Washington Commanders, sniffing around for the 500 mark. Jones over the middle, broken up and picked off. Jortavius Martin, the rookie second round pick out of Illinois after Kendall Fuller got a piece of it. The exclamation point for a Washington Commanders victory. Who needs Montez Sweat and Chase Young when you can play Mac Jones anyway? The Commanders, though, come in with momentum. Seattle does not. Commanders fans feeling this whole Mr. Howell thing. Sam Howell wasn't perfect last week, really bad INT, but still went for 325 yards over 7 yards per attempt. Seattle taking on a dude who's thrown for 325 plus yards three times on the season. Howell throws first down. John Dotson. You can argue Howell has looked really good in five of their last six games. He's feeling it right now. Loading one for the end zone and catch made. It's a Washington touchdown. Terry McLaurin. Tight end Logan Thomas, 30 plus yards last week. Running back Antonio Gibson, 42 yards. Wide receiver Deami Brown, 33. Byron Pringle, 55. Jahan Dotson, 69 and a score. Going deep. Oh! And it's caught! Touchdown, Dodson! Howell's top guy, Terry McLaurin, 73 yards last week, 60-plus in five of their last six. Howell on first down complete. Another first down and more! McLaurin all the way down to the Patriots' 12. Howell has his Patriots defense completely out of whack. The point of the last batch of numbers, Howell will test every kind of Seattle pass defender. He's doing a good job utilizing anyone and everyone on the field. Third down and nine for the Commanders. Howell rolling to his right. He throws. Pringle puts up a Washington first down. So can Howell keep his mojo rolling versus Seattle secondary? They have Reek Woolen, Trey Brown, Devin Witherspoon at cornerback, Quandre Diggs and Jamal Adams at safety. That group has played better in recent weeks. Pass caught Mitchell for the losses. Adams just hammers him after the catch loss of four. Seattle's entire defense is hard to evaluate in their week nine loss. The 37 points allowed is incredibly deceiving due to their O face. Washington's defense is taking on what feels more like Jets Geno. Smith is coming off his worst game of the year. Only one touchdown, one pick, a rating under 50. As Smith goes down the field and is intercepted. No, no not it's again. Geno to Geno. Okay, but let's put on our Northwest glasses for a second. Smith has now thrown six INTs in his last four games. He's had sub 80 rate games in three of their last four. You start to worry. You're not related to that blonde lady with the glass slippers, are you? Smith looking, hit as he throws, and it is picked off. But now for the defense Smith has faced in his three duds, Baltimore last week, Cleveland the week before, and Cincinnati. All three top 10 in rating allowed in 2023. Smith, deep shot, knocked away at the last moment. Metcalf, the intended target. Washington is not top 10 in rating allowed. Rating allowed of 97.3, bottom 10. Seven and a half yards per attempt allowed. Same deal, bottom 10. Hurts, pocket throw. Ah, but they played like a top 10 group last week versus Mac Jones at least. So if Geno can't box better than Glass Joe or Von Kaiser, Seattle could be in trouble. They held little Mac to five yards per attempt, a sub 70 rating, a TD and one pick. Jones fires, broke it up. Excellent defensive play made by the rookie out of Mississippi State, Emmanuel Forbes. Can Washington get home versus Geno without Young and Montez? Part of Geno's problem versus Baltimore, he got sacked four times. Smith, ball knocked out of his hands. Strip sack. Washington sands chase and sweat, not a single sack. Hit Jones only one time. Guess the right, good pass rushers, while expensive, do still serve a purpose. Don't you go dying on me. Jones from the end zone. Oh, nice catch. What a catch. Can Washington play the wide receiver position as well as they did week nine? That's key when facing Seattle. They handled New England's wideouts great. Manuel Forbes, their rookie corner, did a good job covering. But that outing was the exception. Wide receivers have gashed Washington's secondary in 2023. All three of their starting cornerbacks have a rating allowed of 98 or higher. Going to take a shot for London. And London, London fighting for it. He's got it. 
B12s love hearing that since their passing attack is driven by Tyler Lockett and DK Metcalf. Problem is, both come in icy. Lockett had a brutal time versus Baltimore's cornerbacks, three receptions on eight targets, just 32 yards. Smith looking for one of them toward the end zone, and it completes. Metcalf had a 50-yard reception. Gino steps up, unloads, finds Metcalf in the open. Metcalf racing down the sideline and then goes out of bounds. And that was it. One reception on four targets. Rookie Jackson Smith and Jigba had another good game, though. He's finally starting to make an impact. Solid four-game run now. He led them with 63 yards versus Baltimore, six receptions on seven targets. What a nice catch. What a beautiful catch it is by Jackson Smith in Jigba. Run games. Seattle's was irrelevant last week. 15 attempts, 1.9 yards per carry. Washington hit at 4.3 a run. Not bad, 29 attempts. Robinson to the end zone, touchdown! Hawks defense gave up 298 yards to Baltimore, 7.3 yards per carry, three touchdowns. It was ugly. Seattle no longer first in yards per carry allowed to running backs after letting Gus Edwards and Keaton Mitchell go for 10 plus yards per run. As Mitchell breaks it, there's that speed! Mitchell to the end zone and a touchdown! What does this all mean to you, your charge? Enter the answer to that query in the comment section. We will let you see what the panel of 10 thinks about it right now.